Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Wednesday, April 8th, and it's 7.35 p.m., and we've got a prayer request. Um, I, I want to share with you a video. Okay, where'd it go? Let me try that again. I guess I, I must have closed all the links. All right, I'm in the middle. All right, let me click this link again. It's a video by Grand Supreme News. His brother called him today and said their dad, who is in a nursing home, he's not even 70, but he's been there seven years because of health issues. He's partly blind, so he couldn't take care of himself. And... Um, he didn't say exactly what the other health issues were, but something about needing tubing. Okay, so probably some pretty severe health issues. Well, he got COVID-19, they say, and when his brother got there to see him, they said, we sent your, your father to the hospital. Well, anyway... Um, I just wanted to say, let us all be in prayer, for those of you who will, for, let's see, I don't even know this man's name, do I? I don't think so. What is his name? He might have said it, I don't remember it all, but I've watched him several times. Grand Supreme News. I'll leave the link. Um, it's just called... Wait a minute. My dad diagnosed with coronavirus need prayer. The channel GS News. Okay, so I'll leave the link and uh, if you want to listen to him tell it. But that's it in a nutshell. Okay. You know, they're saying that People that already have underlying conditions, like the infant, they said, they finally had a child die, and it was so sad, and this and that and the other. But it turns out the child's been in the hospital for four weeks. He's an infant. He has something wrong with his intestines. I forget what the diagnosis of. Oh, intestinal blockage. <laughs> well, if you don't go in there and cut that thing out of there, and the baby's going to die. I mean, think about it. A blockage? So if somebody went in there with even a typical coronavirus cold, it could give an infant with an already compromised body a, a cold that will turn to pneumonia and kill it. I mean, seriously, let's get real here. And they, they were making out. It was so sad. I'm not belittling the death of an infant. It's never an okay occasion. Never. But they let that baby die. Whoever was in charge of that baby's care should have done something about the blockage three weeks ago. Maybe it had to get stronger. Maybe they wanted it to gain more weight. And where they thought the food was going to go, if the intestines were blocked, sometimes they make bad decisions. And is it ever okay? No. But we're all human and we all make mistakes, even doctors. Even doctors. And... Sometimes I think it's because they just don't care to do enough research on this particular kind of thing or that particular kind of thing. And so they're just tossing a diagnosis in the air and, oh, I'll worry about it tomorrow kind of thing. And I don't know. I'm, I'm just so put off by all this. You know, if, if his poor father had caught the annual influenza and they're just calling it COVID-19 because they're padding their numbers 
I can't help but think that. We're all quarantined, sort of. I mean, you can't go anywhere. You can literally be pulled over. And if you don't have a, that piece of paper, all our employees here have a piece of paper that states they work at this place from this time to this time. And there's, it might say their schedule varies. It might say they work Monday through Friday. I don't know what it says, but they all have a piece of paper and they all have to carry it with them in their cars. In case they're pulled over, they have to show that paper. They have to show their papers. Who was it I was watching <laughs> made out like, this is like Nazi Germany. You know, and he did the accent so good, you know, like, so that's your papers. You know, I can't do it. Anyway, it's, I, I feel like that. And it shouldn't be this way. It, sh it should not be this way. Mr. Trump, this is the United States of America where we have a constitution, or so we thought. But we clearly don't. President Bush stomped on the Constitution, and he meant it. When someone said something to him about, what about the Constitution? He said, what Constitution? Yeah, that's right. That was before Obama. So we have been living under a delusion. I pray that you all have Jesus Christ as your only hope. Because we don't have hope in our politicians. They're lying to us and making out like this thing is some kind of boogeyman monster that's invisible and it's going to get you if you go outside of your house. Oh, for God's sake, don't go anywhere. I'm just tired of the lies. I hate lies more than anything. I hate lying. I hate being lied to. And anybody wants to see me get riled up, all you got to do is lie to me. Tell me I'm something that I'm not. And God help me. Give me patience. I have to have patience. I have to keep it together. Can't get a vet to call me back because I can't get him there to get x-rays. A poor dog. Can't get him x-rayed because I can't get a ride. Because everybody's so scared. Oh no, my husband won't. He's so strict on this quarantine thing. He won't let me go anywhere. Not even if we both wear masks. Really? Really? Does he let you go anywhere in flu season? Of course he does. I know her. She teaches. This is one person. This is just one example. How many others are like her? How many others are becoming such germaphobes? There's people here who won't even let anybody ride the elevator with them. And, and that, everybody's wearing masks now, all the staff, and many of the residents. And not a single case is even here. Praise the Lord. Because if there was, it would be the flu. We had flu all over this place last year. We were told, don't go to the third floor. There's full flu up there. Patients stayed here and recovered. Now, don't you think that's strange? Some of them went to the hospital. If they died, I don't know about it. They don't tell us. Anyway, that's enough of a rant, I suppose. Aren't you all sick and tired of it? I'm tired of the fear-mongering coming out of our own government. It, so many people are like, oh... 
They're protecting us. They're keeping us safe. They're this. They're that. They're wonderful. Drives me crazy. Almost. Not quite. <coughs> you did not just hear me sneeze. Yes, you did. Thou shalt not tell a lie. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> See how it is? It's like, God, I hope nobody out there hurt. Oh. You see how I am? I'm starting to say our Lord's name when I shouldn't be. And to some people that is no big deal, but it is to me. It really is to me. I don't ever like saying God unless I'm praying. So let us keep Lewis. That's it. It's Lewis and his brother and their father who's fighting for his life. He's probably on a ventilator. They're not letting him talk to him. They're not letting Lewis talk to him. So I figure he's probably on a ventilator or why can't he talk to him? Is something going on that they can't talk to him on the phone? Are there no phones in ICU? Perhaps he's in ICU and there's no phones in ICU. I'm trying to remember when I've been in ICU. Seems like I had a phone. Why wouldn't there be a phone in ICU? Anyway, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, and over myself and every one of you, our, our connections, your devices. Let us keep each other in our prayers. And um, these young men and their father and anyone else who has the flu or COVID-19, it probably is a coronavirus that's been mutated, but it's half as deadly as the annual flu. Daniel from Logic Before Authority proved that by their own numbers. The numbers the government's putting out has proven it. That's the one I did earlier today. So anyway, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm bummed out today. I'm sorry. I'm not my usual self. And if y'all forgot, I'm still collecting up for Morella. I'll put my PayPal in the description box again. And keep her in your prayers. If you can't give, pray that those who can will. Thank you very much. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.